To investigate whether our Neanderthal might have been simple-minded or intelligent, we've recruited Ralph Holloway. An expert in the anatomy of ancient brains. The human brain is what we are. It's responsible for all our feelings, our intellect. But the problem is that the brain doesn't preserve. So what one has to do is very judiciously take what one has and try and make the most of it. The brain of our Neanderthal no longer exists. But the inside of his skull does contain impressions of how it was shaped. By making a cast of this imprint, Ralph Holloway can recreate what was once inside. The first thing that really grabs your attention, I think, is its size. It's much bigger, and significantly so, than the normal modern human Homo sapiens brain. Measuring the volume of our Neanderthal's brain shows it to be 20% bigger than the average for a modern human. But size isn't everything. Could Ralph Holloway detect any details that might suggest whether it was as sophisticated as ours? First of all, it shows the same kind of cerebral asymmetry as any modern right-handed human being would show. So this is a right-handed individual. The second thing you can tell about it is the shape of the frontal lobe is really absolutely no different than what you find in a modern Homo sapiens. So the prefrontal portions that are supposed to be dealing with very complex cognitive functioning and so forth, uh, they're about identical between Neanderthals and modern Homo sapiens. So this, I think, should lead to the idea that basically their cognitive abilities are the same as our own. <laughs> 